In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. Today, Saturday, we celebrate uh, the Martyrs of Cumbria. Earlier on in the week, we celebrated the Martyrs of Lancashire, who were uh, born in this area, but could have set, uh, suffered elsewhere. Many of them did. And this is what the Ordo says that, um, for this day. Today we remember ten martyrs who were born in the present county of Cumbria and who were all martyred elsewhere except blessed Christopher Robinson who was born, worked and was martyred in Carlisle. They include St John Boast along with blessed John Mason, layman, Thomas Summers, James Duckett, layman, Thomas Tunstall, a Benedictine, William Ward, John Duckett, Thomas Pickering, another Benedictine, and Thomas Sprott. And it adds, Today we give thanks for the witness of the martyrs, which always calls us to a life of strong and generous faith. And we just remember a marvel that they should have declared for God when it was a capital offence to be a priest ministering, to be a layman helping them. We think of their patience and perseverance in great torture and suffering and we give thanks and resolve to build up that faith that they preserved. We call to mind our sins and perhaps our little faith as it were. I confess to Almighty God and to you my brothers and sisters that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Almighty and ever-living God, we pray that through this remembrance of our Cumbrian martyrs, their deaths may speak in our hearts. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God for ever and ever. A reading from the letter of St Paul to the Romans. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, by faith, we are judged righteous and at peace with God, since it is by faith and through Jesus that we have entered this state of grace in which we can boast about looking forward to God's glory. But this is not all we can boast about. We can boast about our sufferings, these sufferings bring patience, as we know, and patience brings perseverance, and perseverance brings hope, and this hope is not deceptive, because the love of God has been poured into our hearts by the Holy Spirit, which has been given us. The Word of the Lord. The response, into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Be a rock of refuge for me, a mighty stronghold to save me. For you are my rock, my stronghold. For your name's sake, lead me and guide me. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. 
It is you who redeem me, Lord. As for me, I trust in the Lord. Let me be glad and rejoice in your love. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. My life is in your hands. Deliver me from the hands of those who hate me. Let your face shine on your servant. Save me in your love. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Happy the man who stands firm when trials come. He has proved himself and will win the crown of life. Alleluia. Alleluia, Lord, be my heart and upon my lips, that I may worthily proclaim his gospel. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. <clears throat> Jesus said to his apostles, Do not be afraid of those who kill the body, but cannot kill the soul. Be fear him, rather, who can destroy both body and soul in hell. Can you not buy two sparrows for a penny, and yet not one falls to the ground without your father knowing? Why, every hair on your head has been counted, so there's no need to be afraid. You are worth more than hundreds of sparrows. So if anyone declares himself for me in the presence of men, I will declare himself for him in the presence of my Father in heaven. But the one who disowns me in the presence of men, I will disown in the presence of my Father in heaven. The Gospel of the Lord. <clears throat> Most of the Cumbrian martyrs were priests from that area who worked on the English mission. Um, to be a priest working in England uh, was uh, to make yourself a traitor and you were liable for hanging, drawing and quartering. You were literally dismembered as you lived. This was the disgusting torture. Several were just ordinary laymen. They couldn't talk in theological terms, but they knew their faith and that they were required, in one way or another, to deny their belief in the presence of Christ in the Eucharist, to deny that uh, the authority in the church was beyond the government of the country, that God was above it in their estimation, and they would not. They declared for their faith, and therefore for God, in the presence of others, in the presence of men, the Gospel says. because their conscience says so. I think we should all take encouragement from them and just say, well, you know, much less difficult times, but ones with different challenges from those who are uh, atheistic secularists, we should be willing to declare for what we believe. So we pray that inspired by the Cumbrian martyrs, we just declare in whatever way we can, perhaps not as great theologians, what we believe. Lord, hear us. We pray for our widespread churches in Cumbria, little towns but widespread churches, that we may be one in unity of heart and mind, 
and that uh, we may all be of one in faith. Lord, hear us. And we pray for all of those given to our special care, that the Lord may surround them with his care and love. Lord, hear us. Lord, we come to you because we know that you care. You are the one that even sees the little sparrows falling to the ground, Father in heaven, who numbers every one of our hairs, the hairs of our head. We ask this in trust, knowing that you care, you who live and reign forever and ever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, to become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the, the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord, and may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, O God. Lord, how should we be Cleanse me. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. As, as we honour the memory of your martyrs, we celebrate in faith this holy sacrifice for which they gave their lives, we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. <clears throat> it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, for the blood of your blessed martyrs of Cumbria, poured out like Christ to glorify your name, shows forth your marvellous works, by which in our weakness you perfect your power, and in the feeble bestow strength to bear you witness through Jesus Christ our Lord. And so, with the powers of heaven, we worship your, you constantly on earth, and before your majesty, without end, we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy. Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. <clears throat> you are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them, like the Jewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving you thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you.
<clears throat> In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. <clears throat> the mystery of faith Christ has died, Christ is risen, Christ will come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Paul our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. <coughs> and all who have died in your presence, in your mercy. Welcome then into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, <clears throat> with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours for ever and ever. Amen. <coughs> At the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and for ever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign for ever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. And in this mingling of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, bring eternal life to us who receive it. May the receiving of your body and blood, Jesus Christ. But through your loving mercy be for me protection, mind and body and image. <clears throat> B. 
Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. I invite you to make a spiritual communion with myself. The prayer. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Blessed Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire you in my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. As though you are already there, I embrace you and unite myself wholly to you. Do not let me ever be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. <clears throat> Heavenly Father, as we have shared in the one cup and the one living bread in memory of our martyrs, unite us in love, sustain us in the newness of life, which is your gift through Christ our Lord. Amen. I just uh, refer to the News, new newsletter. Uh, those intercessors, you can join them by the way, formally or informally, uh, intercessory prayer ministry, 
uh, for this coming week, it's the prayer focus is that the Holy Spirit will help each one of us to understand one another more deeply. And um, for the present, sorry, that's the present week. Um, and the future one for the coming week is this, uh, that we may be inspired by the Holy Spirit to a time of renewal and mission. And this brings us to our big meeting on the 11th of September, Rydal Hall, that's a Saturday, 9.45 till 3. And, uh, you know, lifts given, everything, we're pulling all the stops out. It's going to be a really beautiful day with lots of thought. And the question being, our parishes, where are we going as we come out of COVID? And there's, <clears throat> you'll see that there's, um, on the newsletter, a series of questions. And please, ordinary people, you need to be an expert, please give your heartfelt responses for some or all of the uh, questions there. Put them in a bit of paper, and uh, if you've not got an email, put them in an email if you have. Things like, what is our parish for? What is your vision and dream for our parishes? What would you like a parish really to be? What, would, what is the mission we're speaking about to you? It doesn't matter, uh, you know, being theologically accurate, but be accurate to your heart. And it goes on. And we end up, your responses are extremely valuable. They will help shape our parish life in the future. So we do need to do this. I leave those thoughts with you. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Go and announce the Gospel of the Lord. Hmm.